Let's navigate the online grade 10 numeracy assessment. Google grade 10 numeracy assessment and find this web page. Scroll to the bottom and we'll see the online access. Let's click on it. You can choose your school district or just choose the first one. And let's punch in just any nine digit number, 111, 111, 111. Click on the subject, which is going to be numeracy. And let's log in. Let's just choose sample A, form A, log in. We just say yes. It says welcome, click on next. Here are some rules, next, continue. One little note here is students must not possess any paper that is not authorized. So make sure that you're allowed by your examiner. And of course, you can't have any internet uh, information. So click on next on the bottom right corner. Click on next a couple times. There's a question mark if you ever want some uh, guidance. And one important note is, if you're not sure of your answer and would like to return to it later, you can flag it. So the check mark here means you want to come back to it later. It's going to show up on the review screen. Okay, let's click on the start assessment. Let's click on next. So the first question is the water case study. And notice how this tab above were on the questions. Let's click on next. So automatically we have this uh, split screen view. You need to refer to some information and answer some problems. There are videos about this, the solutions. We're just trying to navigate this website. I notice that there is a button here that says large size. So you can make it large or you can make it small. There's also a font button here that makes it large or small. There's a calculator button here in which I can say what's five plus five equals, and the answer is 10. But of course, it's better to bring your own calculator. Let's clear that and close that. There's a little progress bar here on the bottom left corner, just to give you an idea of where you are. Now you can even click on the review slash index. Let's click on that. And you can see that there are a lot of unanswered questions which are in question marks. So make sure you have time during your two hours plus one extra hour just to get through, get through all these case studies. So I can skip straight to question number 10 by clicking on it. And here I am and you can see that the progress bar is somewhere around here. Let's see what happens if we click on the close button. If you close it, you lose your picture. That's probably not the best idea. So I'm going to press this button again and you get it back. What does full mean? This is full screen and you might want to zoom in, zoom out. This is a bit too big for me. So let's go back to half. So this half mode is nice. Let's try hitting this check box here on question number 10. Let's click on next. Let's hit the check box on number 11. You can see that sometimes you could just punch some numbers in. So I'm not really reading this question. I'm just going to type in 25 because uh, I'm just testing this out here. You can even press the uh, keyboard down button. But if you click back into the box, it automatically pops back up. And uh, let's hit the keyboard down button again. It allows me to hit next. And let's go to um, the review slash index. So lots of unanswered questions. I went to number 10 and 11 and remember that I hit the checkboxes. So these questions were flagged. Perhaps you want to flag the questions that you're not sure about. Okay, so you work through this whole exam 
And finally, when you're ready to submit, click on submit. And it says, are you sure you will no longer be able to make changes? And only when you're sure, then click on assessment. Yes. And then it tells you your score in which we got a lot wrong. And finally, you'll be given some self reflection questions. Good luck on your numeracy exam.